Hey guys, it's me, I'm Sneakerdam, back again with another video. Um, apologize if my volume is a little bit low, or I'm talking a little too softly. It is currently 1 in the morning right now, and I um, decided to just do a really quick video um, of these shoes right before I go to sleep. Um, just can't really sleep um, well right now, but just going to do a really quick video and pretty much just hit the sack afterwards. Um, this is a second shoe that I got from the Nike Sneakers app. And I got the early access for these. I'm very happy about that. Um, they are the Jordan 6 Retro UNCs. Um, these are coming out this upcoming Saturday, I believe. Um, they are retailing for, I believe, $210. Um, doesn't say on my box, but I'm assuming it's going to retail for $210 or $220 currently. Um, so definitely, if you are trying to cop, um, they are releasing this Saturday. Um, so I'll just be looking look so just look forward to the to that release and so let's get right into review so to start off with pretty much the box is a pretty simple box um it is a little bit of a special box a little bit like a special edition box of the unc pretty much instead of the typical black or the um uh, red jumpman logo it is the unc colorway um it is the kind of like the you know kind of the how could I how should I say it? like baby blue like sky blue like light blue color of the UNC um the um of the UNC sports team with the white Jumpman logo instead <coughs> pretty much the box on the bottom right here around encapsulating it's pretty much the pretty much the cement blocking of the shoe or pretty much you know just like the Jordan 6 Jordan 3 Jordan 4 cement blocking pretty much of the shoe I got these in a size nine and a half men's and then of course trademark of Nike and Jordan brand on the bottom of the box. <coughs> and boom, here they are. The Jordan 6 UNCs. Um, off the initial look, I think these look awesome. They look really amazing. Um, they're just a dope pair of sneakers and I'm very excited to wear these and you know Hopefully these will be put into my rotation in maybe a month or two of course um, Especially since on uh, spring and summer is coming up. So these are definitely a for sure a spring and summer shoe like hundred um, percent Let's talk about materials materials of the shoe, you know as always Jordan brand and a lot of the Jordan sixes Pretty much upper of the shoe, it has the synthetic leather on the top of the shoe of the white of the white sections of the shoe. They're not the best feeling. They are synthetic leather, so it's pretty like low quality leather cut leather cuts. Honestly, they're not the best, but they're not, they're not the worst. Um, it's mediocre, subpar, I will say. Um, pretty much the blue part of the shoe is where it really redeems itself and redeems itself in terms of this like material quality It is like a kind of like a suede or new buck material very soft very smooth very buttery Very nice to touch on the on the shoe. I think I believe it is suede, but It's really hard to tell sometimes in, in regards to just Jordan brands new buck to suede material material um, I'm gonna go honestly in the route of the, I believe this is new buck just in terms of just the durability ones and how it feels on the finger compared to what um, suede products that Jordan brand has released back in the past um, the new buck cut is actually is not too bad it is a thick cut leather of the new buck so it's, de it's definitely not bad on quality but it's not the best quality I will say but this is definitely the main thing that kind of redeems itself in terms of the quality of the materials of the shoe. And then my favorite part, um, as you guys know, on um, past history and videos on my channel, I am a big lover and a big fan of Icy Blue Soles. And they come with the great Icy Blue Soles. They're so fresh, so icy, dude. They're amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And I am... Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed on my past UNC type of reviews. I am a huge, huge fan of the UNC color blocking on all the Jordan sneakers. My favorite sneakers are the, you know, just off white UNC ones, um, the Legend Blues from Jordan 11s. Like, I love the white and like, like light blue colorways of all Jordan brand. And these are 100% a shoe that 
so glad that I'm calm. I'm so glad that I have in hand. And yeah, dude, I have to say these these are these are freaking amazing, dude. I love them. Um, that's pretty much it for the uh, material materials and and the build wise overall. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Another thing I should add in, of course, is pretty much the shoe has a whole Air Max unit. As you can see, pretty much the Air Max uses on a heel, as you can see, but it's pretty much encapsulating the whole shoe. Um, it's not the most comfortable shoe. Um, you could play in these, but the performers are not isn't isn't like the best of it, of course. Um, of course, the traction on Jordan Six are not too bad either. I have played in my Jordan Six before, indoor and outdoors. They're not the best shoes. They're very heavy and clunky, to my feeling, but they're not too bad. Grip wise is pretty good, and the treading on the shoes are not too bad. Um, looks wise, really love the look. It really is a very nice spring summer type of vibe sneaker. Um, these will definitely shine out, especially during the spring and summer seasons. And I think these look amazing and tremendous in hand. Um, the wide and looks light blue definitely goes well hand in hand, of course, because they are a little bit of the lighter tones on the shoe. The black hints of the shoe as well in the midsole definitely is a very big, you know it helps the blue and the white pop out a little bit more and really really emphasizes on the light blue color on the shoe um icy blue soles of course is as the, you know the more fresh as the suits it looks super clean super nice um one main thing also is the premium of the back tab as you can see there is no jordan jordan jumpman logo or the nike air symbol anymore it is a logo with patch um i noticed a lot of jordan sixes have been coming with the patch i think the patch actually looks nicer than just the jumpman logo on the back of course the number one um any sneaker or any jordan brand fan is definitely you know a big fan of the nike air on the back of the heel but the patch is in my opinion the second best thing you can get <clears throat> overall i think the shoe is really nice really great um it looks amazing in hand um my rating for these shoes i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 honestly it's it's a banger for sure um i'm a big fan of unc colorways um i'm a big fan of jordan sixes i love how these look i love how they feel in hand they're just really great i guess one bad thing about the only one con about the shoe is definitely for sure the materials and i know i have deducted some points off of past shoes in the history um just in terms of materials wise but just because the look looks super nice and it, and the you know the light blue material right here the new book material definitely helps redeem a little bit of the white um the white synthetic leather materials it helps it redeem it a little bit i am willing to you know just not get rid of it um i am quite a little bit biased with the shoe especially since this is a unc colorway so Overall, I guess this is a 10 out of 10 banger for sure. Um, currently, right now, they're reselling from anywhere from $280 to $300. Um, if you are trying to comp them from size 9 to size 10. However, um, I actually got these off of early access. Um, since they're coming out, fully coming out worldwide on Saturday, I would say just to wait a week or two or even three weeks. And um, I'm going to predict on StockX, these are actually going to go down quite significantly and they already actually have been they were these were priced like 350 like a couple of days ago now they're sitting sitting around like through 280 to 300 dollar range um i'm assuming in the next two weeks two and a half weeks these might hit on a bottom level of like maybe 240 250 dollars in terms of resale value on StockX. so if you are trying to buy a pair definitely wait a little bit longer until the full release and definitely try to cop, cop a pair on retail because i personally wouldn't want to pay resale and I don't think you should if you have the opportunity to get them for retail this Saturday. Um, check your foot lockers, check your sneaker apps, check everything. Um, but overall, great shoe. I really love it. It's definitely a banger. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.